next you determine the shear resistance of the retaining wall you may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution to check for the shear resistance of the retaining wall you need to ensure that the shear loop is less than the shear resistance of the retaining wall the shear resistance of the retaining wall without reinforcement is given in these equations the equations for k and the rho is given here the shear resistance of the concrete will be at least greater than the minimum resistance of the concrete when you find that the shear load is less than the shear resistance of the retaining wall that means no additional shear reinforcement is required the calculations for the shear resistance of the retaining wall are given here Theoretically, you need to check for the shear resistance of the wall, tall and heel separately. However, based on the previous calculations, you know that the depth, the width and the amount of reinforcement bar which is provided to the wall, tall and heel are the same. Therefore, when you want to check for the shear resistance, you may choose the largest shear load of all you may check for the shear resistance separately but the calculation step it will be similar so you need to determine the k the k is found to be more than 2.0 you will adopt 2.0 and the row here is obtained from these equations it is found to be 0.0019 which is less than 0.02 the area of reinforcement bar here refers to the area of reinforcement bar provided to the retaining wall itself as you are quantifying the shear resistance so you should not use the area of reinforcement bar required by the retaining wall substitute the relevant value you will obtain the resistance of the wall panel is 74.5 kN the minimum shear resistance is found to be 88.1 with that, you may adopt 88.1 as the shear resistance of the retaining wall. The resistance is compared against the shear loops. In this case, the shear pass and no shear reinforcement is required.